Uh, hello again, everyone. I'd just uh, like to show this little magnetic motor that I made. Uh, a slight difference. Um, this is um, about the third one I think I did at the start. I just uh, I think I mentioned it in the last video. Like I burnt out some of those little grass glass uh, reed switches, and um, this is. Well, I was waiting on them coming from eBay. This is what I, I built, um, just to see if it worked or not. It's a sort of homemade reed switch, um, and these are the these are the sort of triggers that I use, made from um, these clips. You see that? That's the one I'm using. There's two or three different sizes, the paper clips, like you know. And this is uh, the reed switch here. These metal plates are made from these metal plates that come out the the transformer. Um, here's a transformer here. This was a smaller one. But this one big one here is, uh, I don't know if you can see that right or not, this metal plating round about it uh, comes apart quite easy with a Stanley knife and that. And uh, the metal's perfect for making these reed switches. Anyway, I'll hook it up and let you see it running. I mean, it's not 100%, but it's done until the the real reed switch comes in, that's it there, look, it's just, uh, they have to be pretty exact, well, rough, rough enough, I have to pull that the trigger anyway, just uh, slip it on there, and give it a wee turn, and it doesn't work, <laughs> it will. Disaster. What the hell's wrong? Oh, Jesus God, it's not plugged in. Hang on. Hang on. There we go. What an idiot. Anyway, as you can see, it works fine. I put this on a a bracket at the bottom there has got to flatten out and it moves that way, the metal moves that way or this because uh, you have to get it sitting at the right angle and if I twist that a wee bit to the right it goes faster I don't want it to stop so I'm, not gonna, I'm just going to put it back there Anyway, as you can see, works very really fine. Um, the first one I made like that, it ran for a whole day. I don't know if you can see the spark in there. There's a little spark in there, in between the, the metal plates. Ouch. And Just like a normal reed switch, actually. You see a little spark in there as well. Only this doesn't burn out. <laughs> to get you going, because there's plenty of metal on it, you know. It's just uh, about, I would say about an eighth of an inch, or maybe uh, or uh, four millimeters, you know. Anyway. Um, junior hacksaw sod, saw draft down each side and just they fit in nicely in there. And that. Oh, and I've got a wee, I had a small tool, uh, like um, what do you call them? A Dremel. 
but it's not, but just the same does the same thing as a Dremel. But you've got the little grind wheel on it and took these checks out. I don't know if you can see them or not. Anyway, that's one trigger. I tried two or three different shapes. This one here is slightly different. Still works. Still works fine. As you can see. I found it strange. Like I, I try. I, I actually tried it with a smaller gap in between the plate and that. And it still works but you have to alter this, the gap in between that then, you know, this gap here. Uh, you have to make that smaller. There's another one. Also, if this leg's too short, this leg here, if that's too short, that doesn't work. Sometimes it's going to be a bit faster than that previous one. But if I turn it in, it goes even faster. The nearer, the nearer it gets to the magnets. Somebody that runs out of reed switches, <laughs> they can always adapt. Hmm, it seems to work fine. Though. It's just your basic um, coil, and then the transistor underneath again, and the magnetic head out of a old video recorder mm. Who's fast enough? I think that LED is blue probably because I've not got soldered anyway um, See. Yeah, the magnetic head that comes out of the video recorder, I've been thinking about it. Inside it, there's, a, there's copper coils. Like, I was just wondering if I'd have kept these in. They, they don't, they actually, well, they sit in the bottom, but they're actually screwed in. But I thought maybe if the magnets were going round that, I could create voltage. Um, if you had it wired up properly, I might give that a go in the future. Okay, anyway, thanks for watching.